For a few weeks now, we have been hearing so many reports that Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Hypocrisy, are trying to get to spend Christmas with the family at Sandringham. Now, we all know this is a horrible idea, and we're going to get to exactly why a little later. But I've also wondered who is the driving force behind this decision to try to get back in good with the royals. Is it Harry because he knows that that marriage is going to end soon and he's got to find a soft place to land? Or is it Megan because she knows their deals are running out and she's got to get some more of that royal juice to sell? Well, according to a new article out in OK Magazine, it's more Megan than Harry. According to OK Magazine, Meghan is pushing Harry to mend things with King Charles to protect their royal resources. According to an insider who spoke with the magazine, Meghan is desperate to save their reputation. The insider said they've already been turned down for numerous projects they had in the pipeline, including an HBO documentary, which Meghan is blaming on the fact their royal connection is fading. Honestly, I didn't even hear about this HBO documentary. Well, good on HBO for realizing it would be a huge mistake to invest in the two of them. They would get nothing in return. And as for Meghan pushing Harry to fix the relationship with his family so that she can get more royal gossip, well, yes, I absolutely believe that she would be that tacky. Now, Harry, I don't know how he's responding. It does kind of seem like Meghan's losing her grip on him just a little bit. Maybe even Harry has enough sense to know that there's no way back for them at this point. I mean, after everything he wrote in Spare, some of which I'm sure was encouraged by Megan, if not written by Megan, and then what they said about the family in the docu-series, I mean, the interviews, Megan's podcast series, the list goes on and on. They have thoroughly trashed the royal family. So at this point, the royal family is not just going to let them waltz back in. According to this insider, though, Megan is starting to get worried that she might lose her royal privileges, and that's something she's not willing to let go of. We already knew this. She's going to hang on to that duchess title as long as she possibly can. So the insider said, She's become extremely snappy and begged Harry to do something to prevent them from being cut off completely, even urging him to take a solo trip to talk to Charles and William in a desperate attempt to keep a foot in the door. Well, you know, maybe the two traitors should have thought of this before they decided to do what they did and betray the family. They deserve nothing less than to be cut off completely at this point. The fact that they still retain any royal privileges is an insult to the people of the UK and the Commonwealth. This is ridiculous that they're allowed to just disrespect the royal family like that and not be cut off completely. It also really speaks to what an absolute nutcase Megan is. I mean, who does she think she is trying to make peace with a family she completely insulted time and time again? Clearly, she hates them. It's so transparent what she's trying to do, too. I mean, that woman thinks that she is so sly, but really, she's not, because her little schemes are so easy to see through. She believes the royal family is stupid enough to let her back in so that she can record their conversations and then sell them to the highest bidder. Well, you know, Megan, they weren't born yesterday. Megan sees this as her last Hail Mary, and she's probably right. I mean, they're going to continue to fade into obscurity until we don't see their names in the headlines anymore. We know that Megan and Harry read the news about them, and they can see they are being absolutely skewered by the critics these days. People are not so enamored with them. I mean, they never really were, but now more and more people are waking up to the fact that they're a couple of grifters. Even though they try their best to balance out the headlines with these ridiculous puff pieces like what Megan wore when they went to Vancouver or that she made some charity visit where she seemed really relatable, it's not enough. We all know this stuff is coming directly from their PR people and so we don't believe it. And even though they've got their PR people putting out all these glowing headlines, they can't do anything about the headlines that are not so positive. For example, we've got in GB News, we've got the headline, Meghan and Harry issued rude awakening on royal life in U.S. Can't expect to be loved and financed and not produce anything. Political commentator Lauren Chen is hitting out at Meghan and Harry's efforts to wade into the media industry since their departure from royal duties in 2020. She's criticizing the move altogether, saying that it was probably a big mistake for the two of them to believe they could be successful as these celebrities or philanthropists or whatever in the U.S., and she's 100% right. Lauren told GB News their Spotify deal has finished, so it's not really a question or debate whether it was successful or not. Even with Netflix, these are deals they've had for years, and what have they done with them? 
the docuseries was universally panned from what I saw. There is just no appetite for what Harry and Meghan are trying to sell anymore. It's going to be a rude awakening that you can't just be royals in America and not produce anything and expect to be loved and financed the way you might be in the UK if you are actually a respected and participating member of the royal family. This is something I believe Meghan and Harry still cannot wrap their heads around. Now, for Harry's part, I believe he's just too dumb to understand what reality actually is. I don't think Harry understands what life is like for ordinary people. To be fair, he never had to experience life as an ordinary man, so I understand where the confusion comes from. And Meghan didn't help matters because she told him it was going to be just as easy for them in the U.S. as it was in the U.K. I truly believe that she convinced him of that. She filled his head with all kind of lies about how there'd be these big stars in Hollywood. They would never have to do any of those annoying royal duties ever again. They would just get to walk red carpets and do these little endorsements and the money would come flowing in. Well, obviously that didn't happen. The truth is, Meghan and Harry probably could have been successful in the U.S. if they were willing to put in the work, but the two of them are so lazy. I mean, seriously, it's a lot more work to make it in Hollywood than it is as a working royal. And that's not to say that working royals don't put in any work. I mean, Princess Anne, for example, works her butt off. But at the same time, it's not the same. The working royals have the work handed to them. They don't have to go out and find it. But in Hollywood, no, you got to search and search for somebody to even offer you a source of income. Meghan and Harry had it very good when they first moved to the U.S. They didn't have to work to prove themselves to land those Spotify deals and Netflix deals and the deals with Penguin Random House. But at this point, after they failed to produce any content, nobody wants to get involved with them anymore. Why would they? On some level, it sounds like even Megan is also realizing that people are not interested in her as an individual. People are not interested in what she has to say. People just want to hear the dirt. They want to hear the gossip. They want to hear what it's like behind the scenes in the royal family. And that's information that at this point, Megan cannot even claim to provide. She's already sold all she's got to sell. She's got nothing left. But see, Megan is not going to actually take responsibility for the situation they find themselves in, so that's why she's pushing Harry to reconcile with the family. She's not going to admit that it was her who convinced him to trash his family like that for money. She's not going to accept that it's her fault that they're failures. She has to blame somebody, and the easiest person to blame is, of course, Harry. So now it's his responsibility. He's got to find a way to make them some money, because obviously they're running out of it. And Megan is telling him that she's trying to find work. She's signed with WME. She's doing her best to get deals. She's going to launch this website or blog or whatever. But Harry's got to do his part too because she can't be the only one responsible for bringing in the money. But the problem is they've already got a reputation as liars. The royal family is not going to believe a word they say. So when Harry claims they just want to come back to spend time with the family for Christmas, they know what this is all about. They know that Meghan and Harry will be wearing recording devices, and they will sell those conversations to the media. The royal family cannot open themselves up to this invasion of privacy again. So it looks like Meghan and Harry are going to be on their own for Christmas. And you, what do you think of Harry and Meghan trying to make it back into the royal family? Please let me know your thoughts and opinions below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video today, don't hesitate to like and share it with anybody else who would enjoy it too. And before you go, don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss a single update. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely day and I'll be back to see you in the next videos.